For me, UDL is thinking about the curricula and the materials that you use to make sure that every student can learn. And it's about uh, anticipating, uh, thinking about your most uh, students who has the most problems to the students who has the most um, advantage in education and making sure that your curriculum fits both of them and everyone in between. And that's the link with inclusion. It's about making sure that every learner can learn and that everyone can feel included. So you don't have to do reasonable adaptations, so do something different for everyone, but make sure that your broad basic care is broad enough so that every student fits in your curricula or in your lesson or in your course so that they can all have um, the chance to learn or to make sure that their potential is seen and reached. If UDL is not used in uh, the classroom, you can see different things. Uh, sometimes there are re reasonable adjustments so that they give some extra help to these students. For example, what I see in practice is uh, students or uh, pupils who are getting uh, picked out of the classroom and then they get extra exercise, but it's very stigmatizing. Or if you are the only one who can use a laptop, for example, if you have dyslexia, then again, it's very stigmatizing and you will be chosen last for group work. If you use UDL, everyone can use, for example, a headphone, a noise cancelling headphone, or everyone can use a laptop in, uh, in the classroom, then it won't be stigmatizing anymore. So if you aren't using universal design as a principle to design your lessons, your courses or your curriculum, it will be very stigmatizing um, for the students who have some special educational needs or who need some extra help at that moment. Um, UDL was already designed to use technology enhanced learning. So there was already a component uh, to make sure that everyone was learning. Now that we had the pandemic, it all accelerated a little bit, I guess. Um, but if you're using UDL as your main principles to design your learning environment, you can also design your online environment in the same way. And something that's very important, you make it accessible. One of the uh, key components of universal design, you make your student materials accessible and you can choose to do it blended. And blended means you have an offline piece where you have contact with your students and you have an online um, uh, centered piece that you use uh, to put your materials, make sure that they're accessible too, that it is for a different kind of senses, stuff like that. But it's also important when you use universal design that you do it in a hybrid way, that you have this connection between your students. For example, you give a college or a course in your, um, in your uh, classroom with your students there, and you also make a recording so that students who have some special educational needs can watch it again later on or have an extra um, a, a, an extra. Uh, way of looking at your lesson, uh, they can fast forward, they can look at a, a puzzle, a piece of the puzzle again, or they can just listen to it as a podcast while they're cooking or stuff like that to make sure that every learning style is met um, using universal design. So I think if you're designing your online, um, if it's blended or hybrid course uh, with these principles in your head, then you just have to make sure that you don't forget about the engagement. You have to make sure that you still engage with your students because what I saw in the pandemic is um, uh, professors or lecturers are just putting their materials online. They're just recording these um, knowledge clips, but that's not enough. You really have to connect. If students do not feel connected to their courses, they will not be able to learn as good as they would if they are connected to you, connected to the rest of their students and connected to the course materials. So just a reminder for someone who is making use of the UDL principles, please make sure that students still feel connected, make sure that they can make choices, that they can choose a method, blended, hybrid, or high flex even, um, to make sure that they can access the materials, that they can engage with the materials, and that they can engage, engage with you as a professor or engage with the other students to learn together.